mostly respected our guest speaker, Father Principal, his colleagues, special invitees, judges, and to everyone present here, a very good morning to you all. First and foremost privilege, I would like to give to Almighty God for giving me this wonderful day and wonderful opportunity to present our ideas and thoughts in front of you all today. Well, I'm Piobe Mukigon, the CEO and founder of this company, and we have our company manager, Mr. Pore Mohavong, a very intelligent and smart person. The logo of our company the Naga headgear symbolizes our company's strength, status, and the clear vision to promote our Naga culture and identity as a whole. Uh, let me give a brief summary or highlight the company's summary. Our company, Kyung Mart Making Loka, is a business enterprise initiated under the scheme Making India launched by the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, on 2014 to boost the entrepreneurs in India and develop manufacturing industries, as well as to make India a manufacturing hub. Our business motto is Admanyapar Nagalen, which means to make our state a self-reliant economy. Let your neighboring state rely on your state, and this can be done if we increase our exports of various products and try to level the imports we, we are receiving from other states, of our, other states of our country. Our company provides employment opportunity to the educated youths that will eventually boost the economy of the district as well as the state. Our company will also provide a standard marketing platform to the local manufacturing firms and it will eventually do good for the society as well. Our business enterprise is the first business initiative taken up in the district to promote local manufacturing firms and the local products. Uh, any, any business without any solid objectives would be led astray. If there are no proper guidelines or objectives, as such, our businesses have, have come up with a certain objectives which are to be maintained. Firstly, to make Nagaland a self-reliant economy. As we all know, Nagaland has too many potentials and resources. Oka itself has the potential and required resources to feed the whole population of Nagaland if the agri sector was to be developed. As such, or through this enterprise, we, provide, we will be providing and supplying local goods which will in turn boost the economy of the district as well as the state. Secondly, to promote the culture of the community. As we all know that our, our native culture is degrading and is losing its life. As such, with the help of this enterprise, we may be we will be able to promote the we may be able to promote the culture of the culture of the community or through the export of local goods such as and looms, handicrafts, local foods, and so many other local products which are produced within the district or the area. Thirdly, uh, we, we also plan to make this business uh, into a brand which is well known uh, within the Nagaland or, or the other parts of the Nagaland. This business is not only confined to Oka district alone, but uh, its main focus is to promote this business brand and be made well known uh, in different parts of the Nagaland and also to and also to promote the culture of the other other tribes in different parts of the state as well as in the district. Like this. Here are some of the products and services which are available in the market. Uh, 
uh, adding up to that, the future plan of our business is to expand our business enterprise in the various districts of the state in the next three to four years. And the plan and the strategy of our plan is to put up innovative ideas in certain required areas of our business enterprise as well as boosting the roots of the business enterprise. Having said that, we would like to conclude our presentation from here. Thank you so much, everyone. First of all, thank you, so, thank you, ma'am, for the question. Uh, I would like to say why you should visit Gyeongmart, Make in Woka, is because the products available in the market enterprise will be purely our products, which is produced from the, from the district itself. Produced from which district? From Woka? Yes, Mr. Think local, act local. Right? So, uh, one question I was wondering is, if you're talking through the logistics, so how does a basket get from a weaver to the end customer from Moka to wherever they may be? Uh, excuse me, can you please repeat the question again, sir? Uh, I was wondering about the logistics. How would a uh, basket or whatever else product get from the weaver to your market? Uh, for that, we will be keeping a transportation transportation facility, which we will be able to get the products from the local manufacturing firms to our uh, members, which will be working for us. Thank you, sir. And uh, what is the demand? So let's say talk about uh, monthly volume or monthly uh, revenue rupees or export that. Also, monthly we will be selling a minimum net margin of uh, which will get the products into the market in the prices of different states as well as in other states. Can you particularly imagine what would be at least that one particular measure that you would be willing to take up to ensure that your products are there, right? They're on the shelves where customers get the big uh, one such measure can that be of the use of social media. One such measure can be through the usage of social media on Instagram pages, Facebook pages, and so on. Uh, adding up to that, sir, uh, we will. Uh, adding up to that, we will. Adding up to that, we will ensure that we provide quality products and affordable price to the customers, which will uh, attract tourism as well. Alright, thank you. Yes, sir.